One of the more confusing aspects of plethysmography testing is adjusting the tracings after the test. Since the American Thoracic Society does not have published standards on adjusting the tracings for thoracic gas volume or airway resistance, it is left to the manufacturers to guide users on this. In this video, we will explore adjusting the closed shutter panting tracings for thoracic gas volume, as well as the open and closed shutter tracings for airway resistance in Breeze Suite. Before we look at the tracings, it is important to note that the American Thoracic Society highly recommends that lung volumes and airway resistance measurements be performed independently and separate from each other to ensure accuracy. They state that the optimal panting frequencies are different and increased time on the mouthpiece increases opportunity for leak, which can compromise accurate measurement of lung volumes. In addition, some patients may not tolerate the extended time on the mouthpiece and with the door closed when measurement of lung volumes and airway resistance are combined. The recommended panting frequency for lung volumes or closed shutter breathing is approximately once per second. The recommended panting frequency for airway resistance or open shutter panting is one and a half to two times per second. When performing lung volume testing, we close the mouth shutter and ask the subject to gently pant. The tracing that is displayed measures mouth pressure over box pressure. The solid black line that goes through the tracing is called the line of best fit. The computer uses all of the data points from the tracing and places the line of best fit through the average of those data points. In general, the line of best fit should be at the same angle or tangent that the blue tracing is at. If the line of best fit is not at the correct angle, then an adjustment is needed. While in the test screen, you can draw each effort if you double-click on the time of an effort. With the efforts draw on the screen, you can visually see if any tracing needs adjustment. If a tracing needs adjustment, double-click on the graph to bring you to the adjustment screen. Note, always check the line of best fit before selecting efforts to average. Selecting an effort that has an inappropriate line of best fit will cause your lung volumes to be inaccurate. Most of the time, no adjustment is needed on the closed or lung volume tracing. However, if there was a leak during closed shutter panting, the computer will use those data points and skew the line of best fit. Here you can see a leak on the right side of the tracing. Because of that leak, the line of best fit is rotated clockwise and out of adjustment. When this happens, you can manually adjust the line of best fit and ignore the data points caused by the leak. By using the angle adjustment arrows in the upper left of the screen, you can rotate the line of best fit to ensure a proper angle. As you adjust the line of best fit, the TGV value automatically changes. Note that you should not adjust the line of best fit to get a value. Adjust the line to the same angle as the tracing. The more up and down the line, the smaller the value. The more horizontal the line, the larger the value. Once any adjustment has been made, click the OK button to save your changes. Look at each tracing to see if the line of best fit is appropriate. Once all adjustments have been made, you can now check which efforts you want to average for the final report. For airway resistance testing, the graph will have two tracings overlapping each other. The blue tracing is the closed shutter breathing which measures the lung volumes as previously mentioned. The red tracing is the open shutter panting which measures airway resistance. Lung volumes are measured with airway resistance in order to calculate the volume of gas in the lungs during open shutter panting, which then allows the software to calculate specific resistance. Draw all of the efforts and look to see if any adjustments to the line of best fit is needed. The line of best fit is the same for the blue or closed shutter tracing as in lung volume testing. The line should use all of the data points and be the same angle or tangent. The red or open shutter tracing is slightly different than the closed shutter loop. While the blue tracing represents mouth pressure over box pressure, the open shutter trace represents flow over box pressure. The black horizontal line represents zero flow, and the two red horizontal lines indicate plus and minus 0.5 liters per second flow. Unlike lung volumes, airway resistance efforts take only the data between the two red flow lines and ignores the data above and below the flow lines when setting the line of best fit. Because of the limited data between the flow lines, adjusting the open shutter panting will become more frequent than the closed shutter breathing. To adjust the line of best fit for an airway resistance effort, double-click on the graph. The red or open shutter panting graphic will be displayed. Again, 
Use the angle adjust arrows in the upper left to adjust the angle of the line of best fit if needed. Remember to only use the data between the red flow lines when adjusting. Experts will tell you that one of the most important points to remember is consistency when adjusting the line of best fit. Consistency from patient to patient and visit to visit. It is also recommended to move the line of best fit to the right side of the open shutter tracing. The position adjust arrows in the upper left can be used to move the line to the right or to bring it out if hidden within the red trace. Using the right side of the graph and only the data between the red flow rate lines, ensure that the line of best fit is at the same angle as the red tracing. Moving the line left or right does not change any of the values. Only when adjusting the angle of the line does the airway resistance value change. After a change has been made to the line of best fit, and you wish to save the changes, select the OK button. Two other methods for adjusting the airway resistance loop may be seen outside of the United States. The first method is called the Ulmer method, or sometimes called total airway resistance. The Ulmer method defines the line of best fit between the points of maximal inspiratory and expiratory volume shifts, or pressure change. By adjusting the line of best fit to the maximal pressure change, you may have improved sensitivity at end expiration. However, you may also have increased variability. The Ulmer method can be set as your default for computer-generated line fit. While in the plethysmography test screen, go to the F5 options menu. Under raw calculation method, Ulmer can be selected from the drop-down menu. The second method described by Matt is, is also called effective resistance. This method incorporates all of the data points within the entire breathing loop and averages those points. The line of best fit shown here takes all of the data points and puts the line through the average. To adjust the line of best fit for the closed shutter breathing, select closed from the drop-down menu in the upper left. This will display the blue tracing. Adjust this line the same as the lung volume graph. When all adjustments have been made, select the OK button to return to the test screen. Once you are satisfied with the line of best fit for all efforts, select the airway resistance efforts you wish to average for the final report. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, or if you have questions on plethysmography testing, please contact technical support at 1 800 333 4137 or email us at support at mgcdiagnostics.com.